Now that we've got the front and the top view drawn, it's time to put a section view on it. So we're going to set our cutting plane layer current. We're going to start off drawing that cutting plane through the middle of the front view. We're going to do that with the polyline command. So a few different ways to do it. I'm going to actually start off uh, in the middle here. Ooh, I'm doing that thing again where it's super wide right now. If you see that, don't, don't worry, don't freak out. You can just type W for width, press enter. We're going to set the starting width to zero, the ending width to zero, and then we will go ahead and draw this line. We can draw it from here. We can bring it straight out. Um, some distance, it's a, a distance. It's, there's no set distance that this needs to be, but you do want to be consistent on both sides. So I'm going to type in 0.5 for my distance of this line. I'll press F8 to make sure I'm making a perfectly straight line. And I'll make this, let's go a 0.25. So now I've got this, this link, this line right here. It's at 0.25, you could make that a 0.5 as well. But now I'm ready to start the arrow command, or not the arrow command, I'm ready to draw the arrow, still in the polyline command. So this is still just one long polyline that I'm drawing here. I'm gonna type in W for width, and it wants the starting width. Well, my starting width, the way that I'm going here, the starting width is the longest point. So let's, let's try a 0.125 for the starting width and a zero for the ending width. We want it to come to a point, so we're gonna go back to zero. This looks good, so, and you can see however long I draw that line, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna stretch that arrow out. If I were to make it super long, I start seeing a dashed pattern. Definitely don't do that. I'm still on that cutting plane layer, so it does have a dashed pattern to it. I'm just gonna make it 0.25 long. Press enter and enter. So this looks great. That is a nice looking cutting plane here. I'm gonna take this and mirror straight down the middle. All right, so I've got my cutting plane line here. It does sit on top of your center line and that is just something that um, um, it, it just ends up happening. One thing I'd like to do is go ahead and join since those are two separate ones. Ooh. Let me see if the join command is going to work. It might mess up my arrows. Hold on. Oh, no, nope, it didn't. So I got to join it into one long continuous line. That way, if I need to adjust the line type of it, um, the whole thing will have be one long continuous dash. All right, so I'm done with the cutting plane. Now I need to come up here. So remember, anything that's visible becomes, or anything that's hidden becomes visible. So I'll go ahead and highlight all my hidden lines. We're going to make those visible and i had brought these lines in to that tangency but when we actually trim this or cut this in half i don't see this part here so i'm going to trim here oops not that one trim here 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 okay that looks good now all i need to do is set my hatch layer current and I'm gonna put a hatch in. We're gonna leave it at the default ANSI 31 and just hatch, 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 hatch. When I'm done hatching, press enter, and that's it. I've just made a section view of my flange bearing.